Hey guys, I'm going to teach you how to make a cool little effect rack uh, for either DJing or using in your own tracks when you're writing. Uh, so what this uh, tool is, is it's two filters and it's a utility, okay? What I've done is I've gone ahead and mapped all of those to uh, change all at the same time so it produces a result like this. So let's play this track. This track is called Spiritual and it's by uh, an artist, Spirit Architect, and I would really recommend checking out their music. Uh, they write some incredible sidetrance. Um, so let's go ahead and... So, completely closed. Completely open. And the slow and gentle transition between the two. Um, so when you're when you're mixing uh, and you have two tracks and you want to bring one track in and you want to take one track out, what I would do is I would have um, audio one as let's say uh, track uh, track one track two. Uh, and can I actually even find another track that I've got here? Yes, I can. Universal tribes represent. Uh, sorry, tribe represent. Um, I don't know any of, the, any of these tracks uh, anywhere near the same speed as this one, but let's just pull one in for the sake of it. Uh, so Zone Tempest, uh, Vortex Engine. Uh, we'll just unwarp it. Um, so let's go copy, paste, and then we have to remap this knob because uh, I don't have it mapped yet. Okay. Um, this is not going to be in time. Nothing about this is going to be incredible. So just ignore that. I'm just going to simply show you uh, the like how would you you'd use it if you're mixing. So we've got this track fully open, and I'm going to start closing that one, and I'm going to start opening the other one. Like that. Let's go back the other way. Yeah. Cool. All right. So that's how you'd use it in a DJ application. Uh, if you were writing Psytrance and you wanted to have your kick and bass um, maybe filter in or filter out of your track, you would simply use that and you would uh, automate the uh, parameter. So for example, you would select the area, then you would bring that down and then your automation line would just follow that. So uh, as it goes along, the filter is opening and let's have it close again at some point. Uh, sorry, it is closing. Uh, let's go ahead and have it back open back up. Uh, it's it's really beautiful, it's like a real clean, especially when you're automating the volume at the same time as the filters, it just creates such a clean uh, transition and it's a really effective tool. So what you would do is you would go filter rack and then you could go um, at save default preset uh, and then it would be in your presets in there. Um, otherwise you could just click it and, and, and drag it in. Um, so let's make it because uh, that is the important part. So this is actually going to teach you a couple of different things. Um, and I will kind of outline it as we go along, okay? So let's go to audio effects and let's go ahead and grab ourselves an auto filter, another auto filter, and a utility. Uh, let's click the utility, let's hold shift and click the first auto filter so everything gets selected. And we're going to right click and we're going to group, okay? So the first part of this lesson, is putting things into uh, group racks or effect racks, okay? So now you've got a couple of different, uh, not like buttons at the end here. This lets you see the effects. This lets you see the chains. So we could set up a couple of other chains in here. We're not gonna get into that right now. I can do a separate tutorial on that. Um, and what have I done? Um, and then this little knob here that controls your macros okay so what are macros macros are uh knobs that you can map parameters to so they can kind of be like a master knob and that's what i'm going to call it master knob 
Uh, so let's first of all take the Q down to zero uh, on both of those, and I'm going to change this one to a uh, high pass and bring that one completely closed. Okay. So let's go ahead and map that to so the gain on the utility map to macro one, the uh, frequency on the uh, high pass to the same knob. Uh, sorry. I have done that right and then that to macro one as well so when you turn that knob it changes all of those cool so you'll notice that uh when we're at a hundred percent the gain is at plus 35 decibels which is going to nail our drums and the uh the auto filter is not really going the way i want it that would produce an interesting effect but you can experiment with that um but I want it to be, uh, when it's open, uh, I want it to be completely shut. And when it's this way, I want it to be completely open, just because that's the way it kind of works in my brain. Uh, so we need to right click on, let's just right click on utility, go edit macro map. So at the moment that is completely uh, closed. So I want everything to be open. So you'll notice that this one is closed. So let's go ahead and go like that. Cool. So the minimum we're going to set to 26 and we're going to set the maximum to almost 20,000. Okay. So now that's completely open. That one's completely shut. If we change that to whoop, zero decibel there, then we have our desired result. So let's go edit macro map. Now we have this. So let's listen. Turn the track on. And you'll notice that I have done that wrong. So let's go back into here. Uh, and that's meant to be zero. And that's meant to be five. Let's try it. Much better. This is what we wanted. Cool. Now we have that cool, cool filtering effect. You could even add a bit of Q to this if you wanted to. I haven't done it. It will fuck with your bass a little bit though. When you actually, it will color the sound of your music because it's going to be boosting that, and it's going to be boosting that. So let's not do that. So working as desired. All right, how do we map it? We go MIDI, we click the parameter we want to map, we move the uh, knob or fader or button that we want to map, we click MIDI, and now we have a knob that controls it. Now it's done, guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, stay tuned for more, because I do plan on doing more. But that is it for now, and... I'll leave you with this parting shot. <laughs>